I am so tired today. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby, it's basically Starbucks. Good morning, I hope we're doing all right. It's the beginning of April. The year is just flying by, isn't it? It's been a while since I feel like I've done a proper feelings and favorites sit down. I'm just gonna get ready, we can have a chat, and then I've, I've got some chores to do around the house. And I thought it'd just be perfect timing to really kind of integrate talking about feelings and showing you some of my favorite things whilst I'm just pottering today. The last time I did one of these videos was January and I've done loads of various chats and sort of favorites, I suppose, between now and then. And I feel like most in most recent times, particularly the last month, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I feel just a lot more calm and a lot more chill and uh, in terms of what I'm trying to do and be online. And uh, I have been thinking a lot recently about myself now versus myself like last year and the previous years before. I find myself looking at old videos from, yeah, even last year and previously where I think, cool, that was a sad, confused girl. Don't get me wrong, I was very sure about what I was doing and I, I feel like I stood by everything that I said and at that time it was right for me. But upon reflection, I was very, oh is that on my mouth that was causing me so much pain? On reflection, I think I, I was a very deep down, maybe not even that far deep, relatively deep down in the middle of the swimming pool. <laughs> I'd say I was a, a conflicted person. I think I just cared too much. I did, I cared way too much. Even though I was desperately trying not to care or not, and, and to come across as that person that didn't care and did what they wanted. And you know, I think in terms of the spectrum of not caring in comparison to other people, generally, I guess I didn't, but I, I think a lot, apart, I am getting through this Oskia London hyaluronic tot concoction so quickly. I think I'm using too much. Oh. I feel like I still did care quite a lot. And that was, I, I, I worried about what I uploaded, what kind of content I should put out, how I was received, how I was perceived, received and perceived. And I was sort of always dabbling with different formats to try and, it was a mixture of trying to be more appealing, I guess, but also I was getting bored of doing the same things over and over again. So I was always trying to refresh things and make it easier for myself. But then I'd often find that what I was doing wasn't sustainable and I couldn't always keep up with this new style or, or this new intention or this, this new thing that I decided to do. That's that's it in a, in a nutshell and, and I suppose I was trying to keep up with what I thought was my expectations from others um, and that's something that I've been learning and working on which is changing my perception of people's perception of me and also trying not to care about what people think about me. So I feel that, you know, I've been talking a lot recently about my mental health, about feeling calmer, about changes, about feeling a lot happier and I do genuinely feel at this place in my life where I'm going for a transition and I'm going for a lot of growth in here, which is really, really positive and I'm so happy about it. And you know what? The reason why I wanna share it is because I am a normal 30 year old woman who has experienced a lot of stuff already in her life and still doesn't have all the answers, is still learning and still growing. I really wanna break that wall, which is, I feel that as an influencer, as a YouTuber, that we need to be in the know, that we need to have everything figured out, that we are put on a pedestal where people look up to us for all the answers. And I'm just wanted to kick that pedestal out of the way and go, I am no different to anybody else who is just trying to figure out life. The difference is, is I share my struggles and I share my meanders and I share my, you know, experimenting with different things online publicly for people to see. Anyway, so, Basically, how I'm feeling is the way that I've been running things are on my Instagram page, which has been growing quite a lot recently, which is amazing. I think I just feel really comfortable now with how I do things on here. Just like really chill, vloggy style videos where I'm just sitting here talking. 
looking at the camera whilst I just get on with my day or get on with my chores or live my day out. There's just something quite nice about me just sitting down talking sort of directly whilst I'm doing something which feels so natural to me. Sometimes when you sit down and you do like a video which is on a topic where you sit down, you set the camera up, get the lights, you sit down in front of the camera and you're like, hi everyone, welcome back. Obviously I've been doing that for years but there's something about that that, you know, sometimes I have to sit down and do that intro a few times because it doesn't feel genuine, it doesn't feel natural to me. Whereas I literally just sat that up, set that up on my windowsill and I just sat down and started talking because it's just, it's just a lot easier and easier to do. But yeah, I feel that I put the effort into making it look nice like I'm quite decisive with my shots around the house and how I edit it but in terms of the actual content I just feel like it's nice to have this more calmer I don't want to say down to earth but just normal approach to it just filming life as it is and just chatting so in, in regards to <laughs> oh man I waffle um, to summarize what I've just said I am feeling so good uh, in terms of my online presence, my career, and where I'm at, I just feel a lot at peace. I've not had an intrusive thought about, like a comparative intrusive thought about m me, and am I working hard enough, am I enough, in so long. Like I've not even thought about any other person and what they're doing in, in, in the blogging world, or am I, am I, to this, am I to that, am I not this, am I not that enough? Because authenticity is, 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 a, is a personal thing and I don't need to fit in a box. I feel like I don't need to fit in a box anymore. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm stopping putting so much pressure on myself to get, to, to keep up. Slowing down, you know? Quality over quantity, you know? I just feel like a really happy person. I'm just, I, I'm for the first time in a long time. And yeah, I've got shit days and I have my low days. Like I'm currently having a bit of a, but my period's due and I always feel like this, like just a bit flat and tired and exhausted and a bit short tempered and grouchy. But generally things are great. My biggest flaw was always just being too concerned, essentially about what others thought of me. Whether I admitted that or not, fundamentally everything that I worried about would always come down to how people view me in any sort of context. You know, I used to get so upset about getting negative comments or people telling me off because they disagreed with me or I'd worry about what other influencers or people in the industry were thinking about me and how I was doing. But it doesn't, but I just, just can't be I, can't, I just don't, it's like I've completely been numb to that, that worry and that thought pattern process has, the tap of that's been turned off. And it's, it's kind of, it's very freeing because I do things now without thinking about X, Y, and Z. I, I, I can make a decision based on the fact that just cause I want to do it, just cause I want to wear it, want to film it, want to say it. If someone disagrees with me, that's okay. They want to give me hate for it. That's. That's their, that's their way of dealing with the situation. And actually, to be honest, I feel like really lucky and I'm feeling somewhat overwhelmed. I get a bit emotional when I think about it, actually. Oh, how nice everyone's being and the community around me. Like I get voice notes from people all the time now because I mentioned it in a previous video and I sit there and I listen to them and I do this, my eyes will start watering. I'll be sat at the dinner table and we'll listen to some voice notes and I sometimes get influxes of them so I can't always reply because then I'm like, oh, I forgot where I'm at. But people have been so nice. Comments have been really, really nice in my videos. I've, I've, I've not I've received really any negativity. I've not had to delete things that has upset me because of the, there's been nothing to delete. People think that that's shady of an influencer to do that. I don't think it is. Someone said something the other day about, well, like, no, it's a really great analogy of you wouldn't invite somebody in your house if they stood on your doorstep slagging you off, would you? So because this is my platform, I use my channel, my Instagram, whatever, I don't have to sit there and take people's shit if I don't think it's very nice. Yeah, and uh, you know, just getting DMs and talking to people every single day has just been quite overwhelming in the best kind of way. 
I just feel really nice and I think that there's just a nice energy at the moment in people and it's just ni it's just nice to be nice to people it's just nice to chat and talk about normal things I will often voice note people back now because I prefer to now so rather than typing it up I'll just be like cool man and I do definitely feel like a lot of the shit that I used to think was down to the fact that I had some like I do have some like some mental health issues in terms of being depressed and sad and having some um, insecurities and like confidence. I suppose conf self-confidence issues, you know? Bare minerals, because I'm a bit more tan now. Medium beige bare minerals because it's the, a good color. I think also it's just accepting. Perfection is subjective because one person's idea of perfect may be different to someone else's. I think that's a really important thing to remember. That's just me and how I'm feeling and just feeling so, so good about life and where I'm at currently. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was, and, I'm, and I know that a lot of people have spoken about this just generally because of lockdown, like you realize that you don't need the fast pace of life but I really struggle with slowing down. I'm being very conscious at the moment about the speed of my brain and my expectations of myself. It's really difficult. I find it so difficult to be calm and be slow. One thing that my, my therapist says to me, and I, oh, it's my mantra now, I say it all the time. Slow is calm, calm is effective. I'm always trying to work at 5,000 miles per hour. My brain works at 5,000 miles per hour. I've got thoughts just zipping around all the time. It's like having 20 million tabs open. It's like having loads of tabs open in your head um, and you think about things and then you go on to the next thought and it's like your brain is working in fast forward. This is me most of the time. Not, not, not all the time, like I do have times where I feel uh, focused and I feel almost tranquil and that will be when I'm doing something like walking or driving or some tasks that I do I will really get into the zone but a lot of the time I just find it really hard to stick to one thing and I'm just like this all over the place and so I'm 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 consciously making an effort to slow the head down only think of one thing at a time try to it's difficult and when I'm doing a task, really focus on that one task because I'm such a flitter, I flit around. And it's like, you feel like you do loads of stuff in the daytime, you do loads of different things, but you don't, but you also equally feel like you've got nothing done because you've been flitting around so much, not really focusing on in on one thing, that everything that you've done, you've just not done particularly well. So I'm just like, whoa, I am chaos. I'm chaos in the form of a female. So, you know, I'll be uh, I'll be doing something, I'll be, say if I'm doing some work, right, and I'm editing a video, and then I think of something like wallpaper. I'll go off and I'll find myself looking at wallpaper, or I'll be like, oh, that email I wanted to do, I need to do that email. And I would just never get anywhere, but now it's like if I find myself going off track, I'll have to check myself, be like, Helen, stay on task. Also setting sort of realistic goals in terms of what I get done in the day and prioritizing things properly. You know what, I see it all the time. People post their fucking to-do lists on Instagram stories and I'm like, are you seriously actually suggesting that you're gonna get all of that stuff done today? Because I couldn't. I think you're lying to yourself. And if you've done all that in a day, you can't have done it particularly well. Oh, they might be super people, they might be nervous to do it fine, but I think actually my new, my new thing is prioritise the things that need to be done now and then other things can wait. Also setting, for people that are self-employed or work from home and have a bit more flexibility, set your working hours and stop getting into the habit of stopping work when the job's done. Have a cut-off point because you need to switch off and slow down and know the boundaries in terms of overworking and having some you time. I don't know, I know that not everybody will agree with that, but I do think it's important to not overdo it in terms of work and hard work is important, but I think we do need to stop glorifying that hard work and working all hours of the day is success. I know if you're trying new things and you're trying to pave a new future, sometimes you do have to work extra hard and extra hours to get everything done. When you can, allow yourself the time to recharge. I'm getting used to this new brow tool and I don't know if I'm using it right. It's Benefit. This palette 
is just an all-time favourite. It's so good. What am I just trying, what am I trying to say here? I think that slow and steady wins the race and slow as calm, calm as effective is just gonna be my way forward in life now. You know, just also being a bit more honest with myself, like actually how much time do I need to do this job efficiently and properly without there being any fuck ups or mistakes because I spent the time to consider and do it properly. That's sort of just what I'm gonna do. Rather than thinking, I'm gonna edit 10 videos today, answer 200 emails. <laughs> make loads of real content and Instagram stuff and that's gonna be my day. You'll be like, nah, actually, that's a lot to do. What is a good, what's a, what's a reasonable amount? And, you know, I've been reworking my timetable and my schedule recently too because spring is here and I feel, someone messaged, I said something about the other day about how I started work at like half six and it felt really great and I've been doing that ever since. Someone messaged me saying that that's intuition. That's cool, that's a cool thing, that's a cool thought. Um, so I changed my routine up. I've decided that I'm gonna start working at seven o'clock and finish earlier. Cause I'm awake, I'm awake. And I'd rather just get up and get start going rather than sitting around. So that's what I'm doing now. Trying out these new working patterns and routines and what's, what works best for me and my, in, and yeah, I guess it is intuition. Like understanding the patterns and at the time, like really, hone, like really working uh, and understanding when you feel your most uh, creative or, or productive or good. And so I'm realizing first thing in the morning, I get up, just quickly have a shower and get dressed, make a cup of tea, sit on the laptop. I'm like, doo -doo -doo -doo, get loads of stuff done first thing. I'm working with that. I'm working with that knowledge. I'm just putting, um, I'm using this palette. So this palette is like my everyday go-to palette because I can do minimal and smoky stuff or some fun stuff and sometimes two second stuff with this. It's sort of all round good palette, but I'm doing that sort of minimal sort of foxy blended out eyeliner look with this one. I love, love it, I love it, I love it. It's quite, I'm getting the gist of it though. Going back to what I was saying about my channel and how I'm feeling about it. I think it's definitely changing in the sense that it's, it used to be all about you know, hair, so I started, hair and style and hauls, lots and lots and lots and lots of hauls. And don't get me wrong, there'll still be some of that shit on here. I don't do really do hauls anymore. Well, I did one last week, my mystery haul, which you haven't seen, watch it, because it was fun. But, you know, in terms of other content, and in terms of the old formats and how I used to just, this doesn't feel like what I want to do anymore. I'd much rather sit down here and talk about life, like real life shit with vlogs. And also, you know, like just, that's fucked up. I've done this wrong. Talk about the struggles and what it is to grow up, being in your 30s, late mid 20s to 30s, you know, as a woman, just be honest about it my navigation through life um, in, in, a, in a relatable kind of way. Like just talk about things that I go through, we all go through. I don't want to become, I don't want to say it in the sense that I become like a mental health advocate because I don't know enough about mental health to start talking about it in, in, in a factual, listen to me, this is where you're going to learn shit. Cause I, d I can't, I think that if you take things from, I feel like I want people to be able to relate to what I'm saying, understand it's a personal story, not take it too literally or like I'm giving advice because I think it's it's very irresponsible. Um, but yeah, like just being just being real and talking about life, also I'll sort of vlog in my life, you know. I still want to do style stuff though. I think most of my style and hair stuff will be over on Instagram because that's more kind of, I feel like Instagram for me feels more curated and purposeful. Whereas here, it's just a bit more cash now. Would you agree? How do you feel about that? Let me know. I might even do a couple of skating videos, maybe. Or maybe I'll put them on Instagram. I don't know. There'll be some people that are disappointed and miss the old me. And they'll be like, this isn't why I subscribed in the first place. And They'll probably unsubscribe or they'll just be butthurt about it forever and just complain. But at the end of the day, you've got to please yourself, haven't you really? And I can't, 
You can't be stagnant and live in the past just to keep a few people happy, you know? Some people that long for an older version of myself, which I know they do. To be honest, when they get frustrated and hateful and say mean stuff and don't like who the person I've become, I don't know why they just don't go away or find someone else to look at or subscribe to. The way I see it is no different to being in a relationship with someone that's not working out anymore because you've outgrown each other or you're on different paths and just staying with them and being unhappy just because it's easier. You just don't do that. You end it and you move on. There's plenty more fish in the sea. It's like that with YouTubers. <laughs> it takes courage to do what's like best for you and make changes, but it ultimately will ensure your happiness in the long run. Don't know what lip colour to wear. Shall I wear red? I wear red. <laughs> Perfume. Santel 33. Because I love it. Oh, it makes me think of Philip. I just I just blasted the Dyson Air app over the over the bits. Sorted my fringe out. Gave it a trim the other day. Oh, I just oh yeah. I'm all good. I'm all ready to go. All ready to rock and roll today. That's how I was feeling. That was a bit of an unload. That was quite heavy. Um, but necessary. I'm, I'm honestly I'm. I feel like just being upfront and honest and about how I'm feeling is actually just quite, A, it's quite therapeutic for myself, but it's, it's cool to know that a lot of people relate or engage and feel the same way and just want us to all feel a bit more together on this. You know, life is, I'll always quote, quote Ronan Keaton, but life is a roller coaster, just gotta ride it. And we should never suffer in silence or feel alone. And so we should always be honest and open about the way we feel because there's always gonna be someone feeling the same way that feels like they're the only one. I really need to clear this, this space here. So whilst I put away my bits, I thought I'd show you some of my favorite stuff. Oh God, it's happened again. I've got a lipstick on here. <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick wee wee and then I'll be back actually because I'm desperate for a pee pee. Right, so I need to tidy up. So what's been some favorite things over on the dressing table? Uh, let's talk about the jewelry. I'm obsessed with earrings now, like fully obsessed with earrings. Um, oh, these are sort of, these are new ones. These chain, chain ones here, I like chains. I've got them in gold and in silver. Punk as fuck, man. And then I've got loads of these little huggy, like little um, ear cuffs as well. I'll, I'll link all these in the description, but I really want to get my ears pierced all up my ear, yeah? I've got a couple here. This just makes me, just it's cheating really. You're able to put your ear cuff on, an ear cuff, don't have to explain it. But I can just have multiple hoops on my ears. I'll tell you who has really lovely piercings is Sophie Floyd. Like she's totally inspired my ear jewelry like situation. She's a really cute, She's really cool, she's a tattoo artist, but she's also got another separate uh, Instagram account. But I think Sophie is so sweet, but totally influenced and inspired by her ear stuff. I've, I've, I have wanted more ear piercings for a long time, and it's a combination of getting the balls to get it pierced because cartilage hurts. <laughs> Can't be asked for the healing time as well. So this is just a great alternative. I've got a few different hoops and these ones from, it's called Ray's Jewels. It's a girl that I know from Norwich called Jasmine and she started her own jewelry company and she has an Etsy shop, so I bought them. I've been using the Pixie Glow Tonic and the Pixie Milk Tonic. I've been, I kind of alternate them. So I don't use it every day. I go this day, then this day. I alternate them because I was new to acid, so I didn't go gray gray with that. Um, what else have I been using? I recently bought a couple of new um, tinted moisturizers. I've got La Roche Posay, which is nice. That's really adaptive, adaptive in terms of skin tone. For me, that 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 works when I'm slightly tan, tan, and um, when I'm not tan. So that's good, and it's factor 50. Woo! For if you want to have a, a lighter day. I always let my dressing table get so messy. I might need to sort my skincare slab out because it's just 
actually been taken over by everything. I recently started implementing some retinol back in my life after the last mishap. I've finally started doing it. This is the Lunar Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. I use that once a week at the moment and then I'm gonna start doing it twice a week and so on and so on. Oh, I love these gold hoops. These are really thick ones. Whoa like that. I did get these new, I got the new brow, these new brow pens. Where's the other one? Oh, I've been using this loads as well recently. Hydromaniac tinted moisturizer from Urban Decay. Brilliant. Where the fuck is my new eyebrow pen? Ah, it's here. I got that one as well. Got that one. I've restocked on Bare Minerals. All good here, all good. Oh, there's my beauty blender I couldn't find earlier. Right, everything is great. I've been using Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturiser for all of my body recently because I've been tanning. Um, and also because my skin on my legs is just terribly dry. It's always been dry and just looking almost flaky, it's that dry. Oh. But it's making a, ma ma a huge difference. I do have to stop the dogs from licking my legs though when I come downstairs because they're like, mm, you taste good. Stop it! Oh, I got this thing from Face Halo. Um, I love Face Halos, by the way. These are a revolutionary product. You just wet them and it can take all your makeup off in one, one swoop. Um, so I have them and I also use cleanser and stuff, but this is a new thing from what I got from Face Halo and it's just a, one of them for when I take off my makeup and stuff. It gets all the hair out of my face when I go in the bath. I just love it. Brilliant. God, the dressing room gets so dirty so quickly. We washed, we cleaned in here less than a week ago and it's already covered in dust and bits of stuff and it needs another hoover. Another favorite has probably got to be these jeans. I got them from Asda on a whim and these have probably become my favorite mom jeans that I've ever owned. These are a size 14. They're really roomy. I've got these cool rips on. They're real flexible. And they were 18 pounds. That's mad, 18 quid. I've worn them so much already, I am in love. Next time I go to Asda, look for the high rise mom jeans. That's what they are, 18 quid. Insane. I got a lounge set, well, was it last month or the month before, from ASOS and I wanted to share it with you because I look forward to wearing it. I can't, I, I know, I like to wear it over the weekends or on evenings, but it's uh, just this matching leopard print set. This, uh, the top has a hood and that's the top it's with its hood. And then these are the bottoms, which just nice sort of, and then they, they're tucked in at, at the ankle. They're just lovely and they're really soft. Right, slippers are on. Um, I've got some other bits to do now. The kitchen is an absolute bloody shit tip. I need, a, I need a tea or a coffee to get me through this pain. You know what, I love cleaning, but I don't like washing up. Hoover, oh yeah, pass me a Hoover any day. Oh, the dishwasher needs to be put, turned on so I can put a load of it in here. I have been creating my own green tea, cold green tea. Someone said in a previous video that you don't need to use boiling water to steep them. You can steep tea bags in cold water. I had no idea. My go-to green tea of choice for this particular way of consuming it is the mango and passion fruit Tetley green tea. It is nice hot, but I've, I've come to realize that I much prefer my green tea cold. Well, cold, fridge cold with ice cubes. Um, I put it, I pour it in a pint glass and I get a reusable straw and that's how I like to keep hydrated. Put that in the fridge. Oh no, I spilt some. I've got to show you a couple of things that I bought uh, from the supermarket, just for the nostalgia. I, I'm not keen on how much packaging is on this, but I suppose it's lunchbox friendly. Mr. Kipling angel cakes. And then I got six country cake slices. I used to have them all the time in my packed lunch. Just reminds me of being a child. So I got, I got some from Sainsbury's when I went. Another favorite of mine I will highlight is Sainsbury's. It's a real problem and uh, it's an addiction. I don't live near the big Sainsbury's. It's, well, it's the other side of town to me. It's not the closest supermarket, let's put it that way. I love it, it's huge. And they have so many things that my normal supermarkets just don't have. Um, and so I'll go there, I'll spend too much money on stuff. 
I just get carried away. And then I tell myself the excuse is, it's okay, I don't really often come here. But <laughs> the problem is, is I've been going nearly <laughs> every week now. It's not like we can do anything else right now. Another favorite is Country Garden Zaflora. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to get more because I'm on the last dribble of it. It's so good and I, and, I, and I dilute it with some water and I just wash all the surfaces down with it, everything in the kitchen and it just smells so good. Next time you're in B&M or Asda or wherever you shop, bar Home Bargains or even Amazon, Country Garden Zaflora, so good. I bought this caddy this thing in Sainsbury's when I went on my last trip because uh, that one's important. Yeah, you and you. So I don't know about you, but condiments are a very important part of our life. And I bought this. Like, you know when you go to a restaurant and they put all your condiments in like a little caddy? That's what I got. I need to share with you Leon ketchup. I know I've raved about this before. I'm not gonna stop raving about it until they send me a lifetime supply. It's the best ketchup. It is £2.50 for a bottle, which is, in terms of ketchup, is quite, but it's worth it. We also recently discovered Leon vegan aioli, the garlic. Fuck me, this packs a punch. Um, it's really garlicky. I love garlic so much. So for me, it's good. We did. We basically did a jar in a whole weekend, in a weekend. That's how good it is. There's not much left, oh God. And then Perrinase. And then I've just got some really low fat mayonnaise because mayonnaise, I think this is actually a wine bottle holder. But I got it for my sauces. And then the other thing that I wanted to share with you is my love. So, so I, I have had to rein in on the chocolate and the treats. I'm, I'm having a little bit of a healthier, approach to food at the minute. I've really, I haven't really drank anything in a while. I've had like a, the odd gin, but just cutting down a bit because it was getting too much. Um, I'm feeling a lot better for it. Just being a bit more in control and a bit more, for me it works. For me it makes me happy. I feel good. Um, but I still love chocolate. So to stop me from going too far, because I am an all or nothing person, so I'm trying to not be an all or nothing person, but to help me with moderation, I've been, loving these, I mean, I know that's an all Twix finger, but these mini versions of chocolate bars. So you got your Mars, I've got a Twix, they do. <gasps> but yeah, my favorite one is Aero Mint Bubble. Um, I've been, I've got a mini version, but not mini, mini version of a crunchy. I love a Nutella bready bar. Oh yeah, Snickers. So they're just, yeah, I guess they're just lower calorie smaller, but you still get your chocolate fix, chocolates, and they're great. I saved the big boys for the weekend, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Lovely, got my tea and light my favorite candle. That's my new new candle, the Yankee candle. Lavender and oak, oh, just amazing. I'm gonna sit down here now that I've done my chores. I've put my clothes away as well. Put a cardi on, I'm a bit chilly. I love this cardi, this is also from Asda. I also got this, this cardigan has got to be a favorite this month. This is from ASOS and I've, wo I've worn it. Actually, that, that looks better with this top. Ah, uh, yeah, feeling this. Love it. I live on my sofa these days. Just love it. I work from here now. <laughs> Even though I have my, I do like having my office days, but I also love having my sofa days. <laughs> a few more favorites to share with you and new things. So I recently upgraded my work stuff. I started off with uh, upgrading my iPad. I did that in January. Then in February, I upgraded my MacBook Pro. My MacBook, I had a MacBook Air and I bought a MacBook Pro. Being self-employed and as a creative in various different areas, not just YouTube, um, it's important, I think it's important to make sure that the tools that I use make life easier, are up to date and, well not always up to date, but just make things easier. It is in my best interest to spend money on business stuff 
for tax reasons. It's not just me being frivolous, spending my money on these kind of things. They're a business expense and an investment. So I got myself the iPad Pro Max 12 in the big size. <laughs> and I love it. I, I got the, I recently got this brown case as well for it, which I love. I like, I like that it's quite, I can do that with it. Feels a bit more grown up than having like a pink one or something. Um, nothing wrong with having a pink one. It's got a bit on the side to put my pen in so I don't lose it. The only problem is though is the charge, it does have a magnet on the side to charge the pen, but when it's in its little holder, you can't really do that at the same time. It's got a pocket in the front there and it's also got a handle. Hello sir, can I take your reservation number? On the front of it I have a cover which is from a brand called Paperlike and Paperlike make screen protectors which have a bit of texture so when you're drawing you have a little bit of texture there and a bit of resistance so it's like paper. One thing that I was finding really difficult when I'm learning how to use Procreate when I'm drawing is the, 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 the smoothness was just I couldn't really control the pen very well. A lot of people say that it wears the end of your pencils, but I've not, I've not noticed any wear on the end of my pencil just yet. But it allows me to draw better. Look what I drew last night. I drew a bear version of Phil. I always call him a bear. I always call him bear because he's like a little grizzly bear cub that's like, rah, rah, I'm gonna eat everything. So I drew him as a bear. But I really like it. I downloaded a ton of different brushes and tools for crop, Procreate, and um, there's so many tutorials as well out there on how to use it, and I'm obsessed with watching Procreate tutorials and walkthroughs. It's just really relaxing, and like, I feel like I'm learning. Um, and I use it also for if I just want to do bits and bobs at a few different emails. It's really handy for if I have to sign documents. Oh, that picture. And editing photos on it. It's just nice, it's portable, it's cool. I had a MacBook Air. I had that for years. I think I first got it when I lived in my old flat with Matthew. So it was a good, a good while ago now, probably about six or seven years ago now. This is my case, which is a bit crazy, but I just honestly, I just use this as a tidy case to put all my bits in. So I have a MacBook Pro, smallest one, but with most memory. It's got, I bought this case as well from Amazon, which is just like this marble effect. It's ma um, and then I got this thing to go on the back. So this is a pocket, a stick on pocket. And then in it, I have my SSD drive, two terabyte sandist, which I do my work from. So it's nice and fast. This cable's probably gonna hate me at some point, but I will get a longer one. And it just sits there all the time so I can take it away with me. And if I go down the office, I just unplug it from here and pop it in my other computer. I love it. It's got touchpad, so it's touch to log in, like your phone. The phones were, oh no, I need to put my password in this time. But yeah, I just think it's great. It's really fast. I can edit videos and export videos really, really quickly and upload them really quickly. Before it used to take so long to edit and export and upload because down there it's quicker to edit and export, but the internet is so slow in my office that it would take ages to upload a video. So I would sometimes bring the edit down here, but it would take ages to edit and export on the laptop. So I was like, I can do everything from here, which is wonderful. I know it's it, it seems a bit ooh, having two fully functioning computers but I like having the option this is takeaway and I can work on the go and sometimes I just do want to work from the sofa if I haven't got too much to do. Office for me is when I've got lots to do and I just need to be focused and in that kind of working space. I do love an office day because I just feel a bit more like on the ball so I'm very lucky that I have two options as to work <laughs> but yeah but I really love this computer the iPad, they worked so nicely together. And then I recently also upgraded my iPhone. So I'm now fully updated on my Apple products. So this is the 12 Pro Max. I'm fully done with my Apple products and these will see me through for the next few years. I also got this phone case, which is skinny dip, but I need to get another one because it's not mag safe, it's not mag compatible. Cause I've got the, I've got the wireless charger and it, it won't work through there. We were watching loads and the Superstore recently. I've mentioned it before, but it's our favorite TV show at the moment. It's just really good to put on when you don't know what to put on or to put on when you're tired or to put on, we watch it in the mornings on the weekend and we just rinse through it. We're on season three now. Is it season three or season four? And I just love Glenn. He just loves everything. <laughs> Hey guys! Superstore on Netflix, watch it. It's so, so good. It's just real easy watching, it's funny. Yeah, so I'm gonna, 
crack on. I've got some work to do. Got some things to do, work to do. Best get on it, huh? No. The final thing of my favourites, and you could even say feelings, because it makes me happy, is my roller skates. I, whenever I finish my work, I always have a little bit of a roller skate. So I've been practicing pretty much every day at the moment, just for a little bit. I practice some little techniques and, and things. These are my roller skates. Moxie is a really great roller skating brand. They're quite famous. I love them. I've put my toe guards on now. I've, I've, I've played with the trucks. I've loosened them up a bit to how I like it. And I love them. They've got really nice support. They're foamy on the inside. So they give, they, they kind of mold themselves to your feet and um, they're really secure. And I've been really enjoying skating pretty much all the time. I try and implement it in my day to day. But as I finish my work now, I'm gonna treat myself to a little skate. I go down to a basketball court near me. I also, there's also a car park near me, which is good. That's quite a popular place. That's where I went with Phil that one time, that, fit, that time with him. And it's just cool. So I, 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 I've, I've moved my office around a bit. I moved the office around a bit. Well, I, by move it around, I mean, I moved everything out the way. And I've got my own little skate rink. So that's really good. I put my music on on my computer and I just play some disco tunes, you know? Whoa! I, I always find that when I first start doing it, I feel a bit rusty. It took me ages to get my head around going backwards. First tried to go backwards when I first started skating back in was it September, October. I can't even remember. And uh, now I've sort of found a way that works for me. I've not actually tried this technique out outside yet. Getting confident, understanding the technique and the logic. And then once I've practiced and feel confident, I can loosen up a bit more and look a bit more confident. You know, I know it's all about bending the knees and sitting back into things and whatever, but I need to, I need to discover that for myself. Um, I'm part of a group on Facebook, which is Norwich Roller Girls. It was set up on Facebook and I sort of help out with the Instagram account, which is nice. It's just a really fun, community. Lead with your ass. Lead with your ass. Got to get bouncy. Get bouncy and get flexible. Uh, oh, hang on. Lead with your ass. Whoa. <laughs> oh God. See, some days I'll do it like effortlessly and some days it's like, oh God, harder. Kind of. Kind of. Anyway. <laughs> that wasn't as smooth as I was hoping. That is it. That was a very long Feelings and Favourites video. Um, well, I was overdue, so I was making up for lost time. That's me. That's me for the day. Uh, probably gonna finish doing some more skating and then go in and have a cup of tea and I'm in a bubble, basically. That's what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. If you've made it to the end here, well, you should come over for a party or some, for dinner or something. Um, yeah, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.